Hi everyone, this is Alimnar, and this is part 2 of our Lunar Magic tutorial. This time, Grimhack is going to be showing us how to edit levels, edit the overworld, and much more. Here he is right now. Okay, um, one thing I want to tell you, that uh, you're going to want to go to the website smwcentral.net. And if you have any trouble at all, just go to this website, and it should tell you anything you need to know. Okay. Okay, now um, open up Lunar Magic. Open up your ROM, wherever it is. Okay. Okay, and you can see here. Um, if you go, um, like. Uh, this is Lunar Magic, and if you go um, to the Layer 1 editing mode, you can highlight stuff. And, uh, the, like, ground and stuff, and highlight it and move it around. Like, so. Um. And you have to make sure you're on Layer 1 editing mode. Otherwise, it will not work, and you can't highlight stuff. As you can see here, if you highlight, you can move it around. And, you know, put it wherever you want to. And then if you right click there, you can, uh, wherever, while well, it's um, highlighted, you can right click anywhere to duplicate it and then press delete just to get rid of it. Um, if you go up to the um, sprite editing mode, the little shell, you can highlight the monsters. And the same rules apply. You can highlight stuff and then duplicate them and stuff like that. And move, you know, and then delete them. If you go up to the blue Yoshi, um, there while this green shell is um, activated, you can come here and you can scroll through all these uh, monsters um, and like that. And then um, just right click to put them in. Uh, the thing is, though, if you hi have something else highlighted, it it will uh, only duplicate the highlighted thing instead of the one you have in the little window. And so you have to make sure you don't have anything highlighted. And then you can duplicate it like that. And then just press delete to get rid of it. Um, and the same thing is. Yeah, for the layer one editing mode, um, and the insert um objects window, and you can see here, here all of the things here. You can see like the pipe. You just make sure nothing's highlighted, and you can put it in here. Um, the thing is, uh, if you want to make it bigger, if you go onto the side, it's the right corner. Uh, you can hold it down and um make it bigger or smaller. Depending on what you want, and then you know you can move it to where you want it. Um, then just press delete when you're ready, or when you don't want it. And then close out of that. There, if you go to the castle, I think. Oh yeah. Um, if you wanna edit the world, so you'll see. The, click on that, and then you can just type in the um, letters and numbers you want um, and if you do it if you do a right combination you should go on to the uh, a certain level and give me see here I type in C7 here you go to the title screen and you can edit that I would suggest not putting like editing this much because if Mario dies he will glitch up the title screen Here's the layer one or the um overworld editor. I'm just gonna go into the 
regular thing here, uh, which is editing the appearance of the world. So you see here if I highlight Bowser's uh, fortress thing, I can go wherever I want, then right click, and it's there, and just press delete to delete it. Um, and so, and when you're ready, just p click save. Um, you can click on, um, Mario Pass to see where Mario moves, and you can edit this, but I would not suggest editing it, because it could destroy your game, and you're going to have to start over. If you go over here to the level name editor, you can click on that, and you can scroll through the levels, and then edit their names, and then you can just click your mouse here, and type in whatever you want, and then you got it. Um, then you go to, um, message box text here, um, and then where the levels, you have the little message box thing, you can edit it, and if you put something, if you put a message box in it, it should show up there, and you can edit that. Um, yeah, and when you're done, you can just press save on it, um, um, that's, I guess that's basically it for the world editor um there's a lot of other stuff in that you can do in this but it is very complicated in order to do um well um I guess that's all for like a more in-depth thing there's a lot more uh, even more in-depth stuff which you can get at smwcentral.net to learn about um that's it